Hello, Steam it. Hello, YouTube. Um, Crypto G here coming at you with another Pixlr video tutorial. Uh, I thought I would now show you how to darken the background in an image. Um, you might, for a number of reasons, just feel like your background's a bit too prominent and you want to bring it down. Uh, this is an image from the other day uh, whereby we desaturated uh, all but of our, our subject in a color photograph and gave this nice splash effect. Um, it's not necessarily the image I would have chosen to do that, but I thought for, it was quite uh, a good one to demonstrate. Uh, the reason I would have cho wouldn't have chosen it originally was probably I, I think the background's just a bit too prominent in this in this photo. So I'm just going to take it down for you. We're going to use the lasso tool again. However, this time, last time we used polygonal, this time we're going to use freehand. And we're just going to quickly draw around. We're not going to be too, we're not going to be too um, accurate this time. We're just going to draw a rough. We don't want to go into our subject, but we don't, we're not too worried about the space around her. So I'm just going to come down here, around her shoulder. There. Um, yeah, we're not even going to go around the bottom of her legs here. We're going to go up here. Let's sort of go around here. Up around here and let go of the mouse and join it all up. There we go. So now we've got our cutout. We in fact, we should have unlocked, well, we could, it doesn't matter actually, we are, we'll unlock it now. It gets called layer zero, we'll duplicate that layer. Layer zero, we are actually gonna call background. And you'll see why in a second. And layer one, layer zero, we're actually gonna just simply call layer one. Okay, so now we've got that, we're gonna create a mask on layer one. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna add layer mask. Okay, there's our layer mask there. What our layer mask does is it simply takes where we've lassoed and creates a mask around it so that we can't see the background, uh, so that we, we don't act upon the background. And there we go, there's our background. So now we're gonna choose our background because that's what we want to darken and take down. Uh, we'll have a look at exposure and see what that does. Now, sometimes you can get away with exposure, but I find sometimes it's uh, it's better to use curves. Kind of looks a bit more natural. That's not bad. Let's see if we can get it better with curves. We go adjustment, go to curves. This line represents the light from the highlight up here to the mid-tones here and for dark tones, the shadows basically here. We don't want to bring down the shadows too much or we start crushing the blacks and kind of making them a bit too contrasty. Mid-tones, again, we don't want to bring these down too much or they sort of start going a bit milky gray Oops. Uh, if we have something above the line and pull below, we'll start to polarize, which of course we don't want. Okay, so I'm going to bring that down. I just need another anchor point there so that I can bring this down independently of the top. And that's why we use curves, so we can literally isolate certain shadows and um, light tones and the more of these points you put in the more you can oops what's happened there it's gone above the line there there we go let's bring that down okay so that's not too bad i'm not going to spend too long on that so otherwise we'll be here all day so we can see there i've brought it down and i've chosen 
parts, which parts of the picture I want to make darker. Okay, so now we're going to go on to, yeah, we're still on our background layer. So you can see there we haven't touched, we haven't touched our main subject. So, but she now looks a bit too bright, perhaps. So, um, first of all, I haven't finished darkening the background. No, yes, I have. Sorry. First of all, we want to go to her. She looks a bit too bright. Okay. So we're going to go to the burn tool. I'm going to go to the burn tool. We're just going to zoom in. And the burn tool is just over here on the left. We can choose different brushes up here. I've got a very small brush at the moment. And what I'm going to just do is, oh, we can see where we, we missed a bit of black and white when I made the original picture. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm just going to click. And it's just going to darken. I can click and drag if I'm careful, or I can, I can actually, just sort of spot I'm gonna make this brush bigger it's it's way too small for this for the time we've got so I'm gonna make it a bit bigger I'm gonna make it so oh, how big is that yeah I'll make it slightly bigger 30 right now when I press you should be able to see her face just getting a bit darker and so you can just darken a few highlights I just darken around mouth there and obviously if if the um, the information has to be there so if the camera has kind of burnt out the light you're still going to get these highlights um, and you're not going to be able to do much about them but I'm just gonna start going around So yeah, that's what you would you would basically do is you would just go along here. Obviously, I'm not going to do this now because it's quite a lengthy process. Um, and you know, it's if you want to make if you want to make it look good, you'll spend a long time. But I will just concentrate on the black background for now. But I just wanted to show you that quickly that you use the sort of burn tool to kind of just start darkening up darkening up around her face just very slightly um, and that kind of makes that look a bit more natural she's a little bit less shiny so let's go into the background now this tutorial is starting to run on sorry about that um, I'm gonna go to a I'm just gonna go to a big old brush here it's a big old brush I'm gonna zoom in a bit so it gets even bigger get rid of that menu so I just clicked off and I'm gonna just darken up this guy because I think he's a bit too prominent his face is annoying me off you go um, and again you know I'm not I'm not um, you see I've clicked too long there I've clicked too long I'm gonna undo that that looks horrible Uh, right so yeah so what I would do here there we go that's much better just single clicks and obviously I would use a much smaller brush on this because you can start to see the edges of the brush if you don't do it correctly if you you know kind of come off his face okay so I'm just going to come out there so that you can oops going the wrong way up to the slider I think the computer's um, just lagging out a bit that's why yeah there we go it's still still taking uh, instructions from me there we go so that's basically darkening the background as you can see there I darken this guy you know I can I can decide to darken other guys I can darken the light on this guy's hair to the left of the burn tool um, but as you can see there, the, the information isn't there to make that bit of light darker. The information has to be there. 
you know, if I sort of go onto this lady's coat, you can sort of darken it up. Um, you can then, of course, use the blur tool to get rid of those edges. And you would go around and just, you know, like on this guy's face, I would just use the blur tool and blur out those um, edges, which I'm not going to do now because this tutorial has run on long enough. But I hope that's given you um, an idea of how you can take down backgrounds, you know, darken individuals and really pull focus to where you want and yeah, and make great images. OK, that's that. And uh, thank you, Steemit, for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.